What's up fools? Welcome back. Today I got a quick tip for you for how to move games that you have in Steam or Uplay or Battle.net or anything from one drive to another. Uh, in my case, my SSD is completely full and I need to move those games off to another hard drive. Uh, as you know, uh, with the latest update in Steam, Steam lets you have multiple library folders so you can define different paths. But this is a different circumstance. This is a case where you already have a game and that game is modded like Fallout New Vegas or Fallout 4. And you can't just copy the files from one drive to another because you've got the Nexus Mod Manager and mods and a bunch of other dependencies that are all looking for the game in a specific location. So today I'm going to show you how to very easily create a junction point from one directory to another so that you can move these games off to an external drive and all the apps that need to reference the game still work. So you can see here on the screen, the top window is my original SSD installation directory in C games. And then the bottom path is my secondary internal hard drive, four terabyte hard drive. So I've already copied the games out of my SSD onto the other drive just by select all and then drag and drop. Uh, it took a little while because there was a 170 gigs worth of games, but it, that's done. So I'm going to open up the terminal as an administrator by typing CMD and then right clicking run as administrator. And then here we're going to issue the command MK link forward slash D. And then we're going to put in the original location of where that game was. In this case, it's Fallout 4, or yes, Fallout 4. And then we want the new location to create the junction point. So we're going to go to the bottom directory, copy that, and then paste in the path to the new Fallout 4. So again, MK link forward slash D, the original folder, and then the new folder. My folders have got spaces in it, so I had to go back and quote those paths now when you click enter you'll see a statement there it says symbolic link created for and that'll show you the junction point and now you can actually look and see uh there's that junction point and if i click on that original directory it looks like it's still c game steam steam apps common fallout 4 even though it's not it's actually linking off to another drive any application that tries to access that path, it will find the path, and it will look like that is the valid path, even though we've moved the game off to a separate physical hard drive. So I'm demonstrating that here. And then we're going to rerun this command again for every game that we moved. We move Fallout New Vegas, for example, so we're going to make a junction point for New Vegas from the SSD to the other drive. Then we will do the same for Left 4 Dead. And we'll do the same for Left 4 Dead 2. And we'll do it yet again for Far Cry 3. And we'll do it yet again for Saints Row 4. And yet another time for Saints Row 3. So again, you just follow the steps and get all your games in play uh, with junction points. Now, there are tools to do this for you automatically. And as a matter of fact, I developed a tool, and there's a link down to the GitHub if you're interested in that tool or the code behind that tool. I haven't really used the tool in a long time. Now that Steam allows you to have different game library directories, but it is a tool that I'm proud of and that I did use for quite some time. Now launch the game in Steam or Open Nexus Mod Manager, and the games will be uh, run normal. Steam won't tell you that it can't find the game, even though you physically move the game. Uh, the symbolic link or junction point will act exactly as if that game were sitting in that path in which uh, applications expect the, the game to be in. So I hope that you found this video helpful and that you might get some use out of junction points. Again, uh, if you're installing games to begin with, then you could just define different game libraries within Steam. But if you're using, you know, Uplay or Battle.net or some Origin or some other client, or uh, you've got games that are modded that can't be moved without breaking them or breaking the mods, this is a great and easy way to move the games and to have no impact on the rest of the system. We'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one.